Hey family. Okay, so once again, I'm doing another video. Good morning to you here on a Saturday. Um, once again, I started a video and I didn't have the microphone in my hand talking because I'm so used to just being able to just talk straight through the device like this and not having to put a microphone on. So like I said, maybe this computer is becoming uh, obsolete. Hmm. It's about, how old is this computer? It's about two years old. So I may need to get another one. But anyway, I started that video off talking about myself as being a psychic medium. This is so old to my family, but family, y'all just be patient with me. I'm talking about this because um, there are a lot of newcomers here. And they're trying to make some sense out of what's going on. Well, you know, most of us know what a psychic is. But very few know what a medium is. Okay, so look that up. M-E-D-I-U-M. I am a medium. Uh, to give you a little idea of what a medium is, is a vessel, which I am a, I have a body and spirits, spirits, I'm sorry, spirits going in and out, in and out of the body, sharing information from me to you. Okay. Some of you all saw the video where you could actually see most of the orbs and spirits all around me. Y'all remember that video? Man, y'all just don't know. I was on cloud nine around that time. I had to let them all know. Hey, look, you know, not right now. I am still in the physical at this point, and I just can't do all y'all. Do y'all remember all of those spirits? And it was just interesting to be able to capture them on um, on camera. Because when I talk about it, a lot of people don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so that's what a medium is. A medium is sharing information with different spirits. Different spirits sharing information. Okay? That's what it is. So, um, what do mediums do? Well, mediums kind of help loved ones who have suffered losses. You know, like, you know, um, you, you're you here and grandma passed away. Great uncle passed away. And you, you may want to communicate with them. Okay? Well, you will contact a medium and a medium would be able to give you an idea of what's going on with that particular deceased relative on the other side. Okay. In some instances, I can actually become that deceased relative if that deceased relative moves in within my body. Okay. So sometimes when you're watching videos, you may be a little bit confused. Some people are evaluating me, um, um, psychology majors. And, um, you know, from their perspective, it's a disorder, you know, because science, when they do not have explanations for things that they do not understand, that is extraordinary, you know, they put a label on it. They have different names for it. They may say, oh, well, you're schizophrenic because you hear voices. But in actuality, spirits are communicating with us. Oh, you have split personality disorder, multiple personality disorder because different spirits move within us. Okay. So what other kind of disorders they have? You're schizotypical because you believe in magic and magical things. Uh, y'all help me with some more, um, mental disorders. I cannot think of them all. Uh, you're ADH. You're, um, all of these different dissociative disorder, all of these different disorders. And all it means is just BS. I just don't know what the hell this is. We don't know. That's what the mind, bad scientists say. We don't know. But anyway, so, um, you may come here and. It might be somebody in your family that's talking to you at this particular moment. You know, I have a lot of people that say, hey, you just spooked me out, honey. Because, you know, I swear you were this person or that person. 
And with me, it does not necessarily have to be a deceased person. It could just be a person that you haven't heard from in a long time. They're still alive and they want to communicate with you. So I've had that to happen. I've had a man that said he was shocked because, you know, his ex-wife, which is still alive, was communicating with him through me. Okay. So it's hard to tell who spirit tree really is. Because today, spirit tree may be this person. Tomorrow, you may ch- I may channel something else. Someone else. Okay? So, and, and I think that's what fascinates a lot of my family and why they come back and everything. And then a lot of my family are mediums too. Psychics too. You know, we're just not like ordinary people. We're not bragging or anything, but... You know, it's just in your face that we're not like ordinary, normal people. You know, you got normal people, which are the average. And then you got the people who are above average and below average. You know, it's just depending on where you all want to put us. (laughs) You know, anyway, most of us will go in the category of being above average because the abilities that we have. Okay. Most of the population does not have it, you know, and I, I'm very, um, what's the word connected with my ancestors and my ancestry. And and I've spoke about it, you know, uh, um, on uh, prior videos, you know, my, um, all of my culture, uh, my culture from Benin, um, Nigeria, uh, as well as my, Irish heritage and my Native American heritage. Uh, I spoke about all of that and even my Caribbean heritage because I am from Mobile, Alabama. So I am an island woman. Okay. I am an island woman. I have island cousins and island friends and island uncles and aunts. So it's all of me. But I know that within our culture, that there, that what, what, what I am is quite normal. Okay. And not understood in Western civilization. Okay. So it is not uncommon for Island people to, you know, be, you know, witch doctors and priests and priestesses and people coming to them for spiritual work. You know, it's not uncommon. Um, to get supernatural work done. And just because I'm in America does not mean that it's going to go away. Okay, you're in America now. So those abilities no longer exist in you, but they still are here. My Nigerian culture, my uh, Western African culture, my Benin culture, where it, my Yoruba culture where, of where, you know, the spirit religion of voodoo uh, was born. It's still in me. It's not gone anywhere. It's still there. So, um, so I feel like for me, it's quite normal. Being who I am is quite normal. It's quite normal for me. It's not going to go away. And there are a lot of people who are kindred spirits to me that have the ability. And, um, you know, even in Irish culture, you know, the, the, the Celtics and uh, the, uh, oh gosh, I, I mean, I would need you all to talk about it for me. Okay. Because, I, you know, for a long time, you know, I, I never understood why the leprechauns were with me. And it took this Irish man to kind of help me to understand. And you know who you are. Hey, you know that these spirits are going to be with us. We talked about the banshee, remember? Sometimes I hear the banshee cries, you know, and I wonder why am I hearing the banshee cry? Well, because still, that culture is still with me. The McCanties are still with me they won't go away so you have so many people going to all kind of uh priests and priestesses and and pastors and you know and and all kind of spiritual workers trying to cast these things out saying i got demons in me 
and and they're they're actually trying to cast out your ancestors that's what they're doing and then you leave they're more confused than ever okay and then the person actually gets sick and start vomiting and and then just thrashing about and everything because they are messing with something that they should not be touching okay now in some instances you really and truly need to go and seek out some help don't get me wrong okay some situations when you got these type of entities in you that have you killing people okay murdering and you know robbing and harming little children and harming people well you need some help don't get me wrong but some of this some of this is you it's your personality it's the way you came here. It's the way you were born. And um, so a lot of our ancestors have done some work with spirits. Okay. These spirits were attached. These spirits brought luck, happiness, wealth, uh, love, everything. Okay. Some of your ancestors were practitioners. No matter if it's European magic, okay, Asian magic, African magic, the list goes on and on and on. What makes you think that those spirits are no longer with you just because they were attached to your 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 um ancestors? They're still with you because when an ancestor dies, they pass them down to the next generation. Or they may skip a generation, not sure. So, like, if I pass on, my spirits will attach themselves to my children. Just like I was telling you all, when every time my aunt gets sick, her spirits, they come to me. I mean, they're looking for the next living person to attach themselves to and and i kind of get worried and get concerned because their spirit's a little bit too strong for me they're real heavy i don't know if i can deal with them i told you all for a while you know me and auntie kind of like auntie fell out with me i I, i'm still trying to figure out why we're gonna sit down and talk and find out why because we're talking now once again okay and uh but for that moment we were not talking to each other it was so quiet around here I wasn't hearing anything, man. It was just too quiet. So quiet, I got nervous because I'm so used to her spirits. Even though they're frightening, I'm used to them being with me because I understand them. That, And I know my, that my, my auntie has been passed down something very strong upon her. I can see it in her eyes. And I say to myself, can I handle something like that? But me and her made a pact long ago that when if i die first she'll get my spirits and if she die i'll get hers <laughs> i don't know can mama handle that Woo, gosh because it was so strong on me when i was dealing with her and talking to her until i was just in a daze y'all i'm just coming back but i know who i know a lot of you all are saying coming back to being who because mama mama just go in and out of spirits being so many different spirits and stuff but you know the, for the people who close to me y'all know who y'all really strongly know and, the, and my family out there y'all strongly know who is who y'all strongly know it but for a lot of newcomers they're trying to put their finger on it and like i say a lot of newcomers are coming here because they themselves are mediums psychics priests priestesses mam vampires you know witches and the list goes on and on and on you know and you're coming here because you cannot find anyone that you can relate to on the outside that you know can have this conversation with you and share this kind of information with you you know and you need this you need th this right here we're not like any other Okay. See, I could talk to my family. Like we got to talking about, you know, and I could still see that little spot where they drew the little blood to my vein while I was sleeping. 
a lot of people, I'm going to lose a lot of subscribers. I'm going to lose a lot of people because they cannot relate to this. They're like, well, she's definitely off her rocker. I, I'm done with spirit tree right now. But you know what? It's still good. It's still all good because, you know, this will touch someone who has had a similar experience themselves. This is for you. So I'm going to lose a lot of people down the way on my journey. But at the same time, too, I'm going to meet some, some, some new people. You know, that's what's so beautiful about our journey. Sometimes the chapter may just close on one relationship so that a new one can branch and sprout open. And I'm excited about it, you know. So anyway, um, going back to, I might have gotten sidetracked. I'm going to watch this video and see if I just left off something so I can start another video. Because I'm in the mood to do videos, y'all. Um, uh, Once again, I, I was just more or less talking to the newcomers about exactly who I am being I think being a medium makes me more stranger and eccentric than anything because depending on the spirit that comes in will determine what I might wear what I might look like at that moment because my appearance does change and I've talked to a lot of you all that say hey you look completely different even my locks will change my locks will look different my eyes will look different my skin will look different sometimes like you know I've heard people say oh you look lighter on this video even my skin tone will change it will get light go back to a medium complexion all the way down to the darkest of the darkest so, you know, it, it's just, it just comes with being who I am. My posture may change. I Sometimes I'm slumped down like an old lady walking like this. And then I straighten my posture up. And then I may be like a woman in her late 30s, early 40s. You know, it just depends. And each one of these spirits have a story that they would like to share with you guys, with my family. So anyway, that's just to give you an idea. It, it, and I have one that's so much like grandmama. It was it was uh, interesting to talk to. I was talking to a psychic medium young lady and she was like, one of your spirits is your grandmother. And I tell people all the time, I know for sure I am my grandmother. And sometimes she comes out in me. She has this old southern draw very very just old and and she was never formally educated so she'll come out and i may just be talking like you know just go oh, please honey i don't know what the law got in store for me and then people be like what what is going on and she'll just come through my um grandmother my maternal grandmother she passed away in 1966 and they said I was born almost like a couple of weeks after her, 1967. That's when I was born. I came right behind her. And my uh, birth mother was talking about her mother, which would be my grandmother, saying, you know, I don't think I'm going to make it to see that baby. I'm, I don't think so. And when I came back around, because I'm adopted, and I came back to my birth family, they were all crying. They said, you look exactly like your grandmother. And they were just like, they, they can't even look at my face. Because they say, they say it shouldn't be. You know, difference between me and her, I'm, I'm taller than she is. She's shorter than I am. But they say we look like an exact copy. And I'm a more uh, a fuller and voluptuous. She was a, a thin lady. She was actually a part of the Cherokee Nation. How about that? She had long, woolly, ropey hair. Came down her back. They would take it and plait it up and rope it around her head. Anyway, I'm coming back, y'all. I can't go over this time. I